Yes indeed, yes indeed it is. Tuesday the 26th of March 2013 and you are watching Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid Good evening, good evening. I hope you are all well out there and uh, not suffering too much from that dreaded white stuff. What was it like last week? OMG, it was the, <laughs> probably the worst week I've seen snow-wise. And we used to get plenty snow when I lived up in the Yorkshire Dales when I was a nipper, um, but nothing like I saw last week. And you'll see a bit about that in the second half because I had some serious issues last week um, <laughs> but you will see that we've got some stuff coming up we're going to talk about this in a couple of sections in the first and second half it is a uh, starlight disposable cigar likey um, and you'll see what happened when I uh, had that uh, a bit later on um, but we're going to start this week not with the usual show as yours but with this Juicy, 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 juicy. Hi, Dave here, uh, and I'm going to review a couple of juices, neither of which I have tried before now. Um, actually, that's technically not true. I'm going to do three, one of which I've used a lot, the other two I have not tried up till now. Got myself uh, a mod here, happens to be a chameleon, with a brand spanking new 306 atomizer on the top. And the first juice I'm going to look at is, uh, it came from a vape space uh, with a little bag of wire and wick, which I've not done anything with, and they were given to us at the Stafford meet uh, a little while ago. I've not tried it yet, it's, uh, so it's Vape Space is the name of the, uh, the company that gave it to us. It's 18 milligram French vanilla flavour. Uh, appears to be a 50-50 PGVG mix. So we're going to start with that one. New atomizer, so I'm just going to give this a bit of a, a dowsing. Cherry Vapes Cannon Drip Tip, which I haven't used for ages actually, because I haven't used the 306 for ages, but uh, let's give it a go. Very strong vanilla twang to it. You see, producing plenty of vapour. That'll be the 50-50 mix. It reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on it. It's vanilla, like vanilla ice cream a bit. It's very, very sweet and not unpleasant. Not unpleasant at all. I'd liken that to like uh, uh, something with uh, custard. <laughs> After, uh, after after a good meal you know it's nice sweet couldn't use it as an all-day vape myself far too sweet um, but not a bad juice if you like sort of custardy vanilla flavors that one you might like I'll blow this atomizer through we'll get on to the next one this next one is called Arrakis uh, by Mystic Juice now this was given to me again at another meet the South Wales meet by Goatee one of the organizers of that meet and he said you'll like this it's a tobacco flavor so i'm not convinced frankly uh, i took the top off the bottle earlier and it doesn't have a dropper so i'm gonna have to do this one with a syringe and it's quite gloopy stuff apparently let's give it a go I'll put my syringe in there cool that is gloopy stuff this is an 18 milligram and i'm not sure whether it's, it's gotta be a VG. It says ingredients, glycerol and propylene glycol, so it's a mixture. But looking at how gloopy it is, I'd say it's probably more VG than PG. Let's try it. So this is Mystic Juice, Arrakis, 
our tobacco. Well, you can tell by the amount of vapour produced there that, that there's a heavy glycerin content, content to it, I would say. I'm not sure if this is a WTA juice or what, but uh, the tobacco taste is very authentic. Uh, it reminds me a lot of pipe smoke, frankly. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of tobacco flavours. Uh, I can tell you that this isn't something that I would use that regularly at all. But it does seem like an authentic tobacco flavour to me. If you like tobacco flavours, that one looks like it's worth a shake to me. Now I'm going to cheat slightly for the next one. I didn't see the point in like dripping onto an atomizer when I've got three. I've got a Penelope and a, uh, a Fagatti and an Orion full of the third juice that I'm going to review. And this is DY4 from uh, Decadent Vapors. And I've made this from concentrate. I mixed it myself. You saw it on Dave's Tackle Box. Using a lot of this just lately. Now, this is supposed to be a take on RY4, but I have to say it's nothing like any RY4 that I have tried previously, and I've tried a few. Uh, the main sensation I get from this when I vape it is digestive biscuits. It's gorgeous. It is my all day vape. I vape precious little else. Um, if you like digestive biscuits, give DY4 a try. <laughs> and there you go. Thanks for watching. And thank you very much to Mr. Kitson for that little juicy juicy. Um, I do like the sound of the first one and of the DY4 and maybe a little bit of each mixed together would be a bit like a cheesecakey custardy type thing. I don't know. Um, but I will have to try the DY4 because it does sound extremely nice. Uh, and I know Mr. Dibley uh, when he made some um, people say are, are you baking biscuits so um, the biscuit theme is there indeed now then we are going to go to my uh, little vapor trail talking about this little sigalike that I was given at the knees meet by Maddie Paulus um, I won't tell you too much what's the VT this is part one of a, uh, a multi-part Marcos paper trails. I'm going to be recording this over the next day and a bit. So it's currently 10 past 5 on uh, Thursday uh, and I'm driving uh, across to Pasco for I have been in Kilmarnock today and last night uh, and uh, those of you that were in chat last night um, heard me lamenting <laughs> because the uh, Wi-Fi at the hotel I was staying at uh, was rubbish basically so I couldn't watch the show uh, BT talk last night as well as being chat at the same time or indeed watch the show at all so I was watching it uh, on my iPhone on 3G until I used up all my data allowance for the month uh, <laughs> I only get 500 meg uh, and I probably only use about 150 a month on general stuff, you know. Uh, usually the hotel Wi-Fi's are okay, but it wasn't. So, um, I'm hoping today's hotel has better Wi-Fi so I can watch the second part of uh, VT Talk because it was very interesting last night. Anyway, I digress. What, I hear you cry, am I talking about this week. Well, this. Yes, I was given this on uh, Saturday by Maddie Paulus. Thank you very much, dear sir, um, who was at the knees meet. Uh, and these little cigar likes are available um, at the B&M store. Uh, they're, they're kind of a cheap DIY super store type thing uh, and they are two squids 99p which ain't bad I guess 
uh, and they actually say equivalent to 20 cigarettes um, and it's a 2.4 so it's 24 milligram strength so I shall be um, cracking it open shortly uh, and I will be using it over the next well, I'll use it tonight uh, and uh, on my way home tomorrow we'll see how long it lasts and um, what it's like so there you go part one done Welcome to part two. <laughs> I've got it here, look. It's a long time since I've had something that resembles a cigarette in between my smoking fingers. Oh yes. <laughs> um, and I have to say, um, it's not a bad little weight for, um, for a ciggy likey. It. Um, it's made by Starlight, as you saw on uh, part one, when I showed you the packaging. Um, and it actually smells like a fag. Um, my initial thought when I opened it and took the first drag was it smells a bit like old hobo. That kind of dark tobacco. Um, And it's got a, a real tobacco taste to it. There's no no denying that. It was bugger all vapor, <laughs> I have to say. Well, you saw some vapor there. I say bugger all vapor compared to what we are used to, um, especially with the RGT coiled up quite nicely uh, and at 7.5 watts. Now that produces vapour, um, but this obviously not going to produce as much. It's actually not bad. It's not... It's not bad at all. Not brilliant. Um, but it's not bad. Yeah. I'll keep going at this. Um, I should be using it tonight. Maddie Paulus did tell me uh, on Saturday, because uh, we, we, we both stayed overnight, which was a weird thing, and we stayed in guest houses next door to each other, which was quite weird, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, and uh, we stayed uh, last year at Breakfast um, at the Globe. Um, so there you go. So uh, thanks Maddie. But he says um, that it gets quite hot, so I should report back on that a little bit later on, uh, when there's less noise from the road, uh, and I'll be in my hotel room with any luck with a bottle of cider. So, see you a bit later. Indeed, the next part is coming up very shortly uh, and I'll save, I'll save the good bit till then. <laughs> um, but I have to say, taste-wise, um, not too bad at all. Uh, and it really was like a dark tobacco, gold of Virginia, not gold of Virginia, um, old Hoburn, that kind of dark tobacco smell and taste. Um, but you'll see what happened next after the adverts. And the adverts are coming right now. Vapocene is probably sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
Hi Weber and Hi Weber Alexa, best in Yorkshire for your AC needs. That's iWeber.co.uk and iWeber-Alexa.co.uk. Hi Weber and Hi Weber-Alexa.co.uk. Proud sponsors of WeberTrails.tv. Now it's back to Vapersea on Vapor Trails TV. Vapersea is proudly sponsored by Healthy Vapor, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And we're back with me. Hello. Now we're going to go to the uh, final part of my little vapour trail uh, and it was a trail of woe, I have to say. Uh, and you will see why when I click on the video, which is coming in a couple of seconds. Uh, yes, you'll see why. Um, due to everything that was happening last week weather-wise, it was not a good ending. <laughs> have a little look at this. Hello, I am suitably ensconced in my hotel room uh, and if you remember earlier on I showed you uh, that, which is the packet that uh, this came in, this little basic cigar like called Starlight, uh, retailing at around about $2.99 um, at B&M stores uh, I think was where Maddie Paulus, who gave me the said it came from. So, been using that since about five o'clock. It's now five past nine. Now, ordinarily, I'd be sitting and tuning in and watching Dave's show on the Haze Hour, which in fact is looking at other things. Um, and I've used all my 3G yesterday, so I've got literally no 3G left. Uh, and the Wi-Fi is so bad, I can't get on the Wi-Fi here either. So I'm completely internet free this evening, uh, which is a real pain because uh, there's things that I wanted to do. Anyway, so I've been chugging on this um, since about five o'clock uh, and um, it's dead. Oh, got a little blue light then, um, but there's nothing. It's completely dead. Um, whether or not the pressure switch is gone, I don't know. So um, I can't really do much more about it, to be fair. Um, I thought the taste was reasonable. As I said in the bit of VT I did in the car, it tasted a bit like um, Old Hoban, quite a, a, a heavy tobacco. Um, not an unpleasant taste. Um, reasonable amount of vapor for one of these. Um, but it's just died. So um, not all that cracking for two ninety nine. If I had paid two ninety nine for it, and it had gone so early, I would be a little bit miffed. I have to say, I would expect it to last at least overnight um, at a decent, a decent rate. Twenty fags 
you know, um, is what it says, what it claims on said packaging, equivalent to 20 cigarettes. Well, that's all well and good if the battery lasts out or if the pressure switch lasts out. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it'll dry out overnight. Maybe it's got a bit wet. I was kind of, you know, dangling it in my mouth like you do. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if anything happens overnight. And if it does, then I shall um, do some more tomorrow in the car on the way home. Um, tomorrow afternoon so we'll see if not this is going to be a rather short piece and it's over to me in the studio <laughs> I've been battling my way back from Scotland um, all morning basically uh, and uh, the M6 matrix board said M6 long delays so I thought okay I'll go A66 so I'll go A66 and I get to um, where the snow gates are closed close the road so I'm going to turn around uh, and go back 20 or 30 miles uh, and brave the M6 um, and see what time I get home the joys the joys of the British weather. Um, anyway, you last saw me uh, in my hotel in Glasgow with this, the uh, Skylight SIG, uh, and it is still dead. It didn't recover. The light kind of comes on, um, but there's no one home. <laughs> it is dead. It is a dead e -sig. It has ceased to be. Um, so, there you go. Is it worth $2.99? Um, from what I got out of it, no, it's not worth $2.99, to be fair. Maybe a quid um, as an emergency. Um, but um, as it stands, $2.99, waste of time. Right, I'm going to uh, crack on and see what time I can get myself home. See you all soon. Oh, just watching that just brings me out in a cold sweat. <laughs> Nine hours it took me to drive home from Glasgow. And it's normally 270 miles, give or take one or two. Uh, 335 miles, including all the detours and having to go back along the, M60, uh, the M A66, back on the M6 and accident after accident after lorry shedding its load. Uh, and it was pretty grim, I have to say. <laughs> I wish I'd just holed up in Glasgow. Mind you, I'd have probably been there for the weekend. <laughs> but never mind, there you go. Yes, so the um, the uh, Sky Starlight uh, e-cig um, lasted around about four hours. Um, which is a shame. Uh, so, Maddie, it, mine didn't get hot at all. <laughs> So then maybe there's an issue with the batteries. Maybe yours was shorting out and mine just died. Who knows? Who knows? But there you go. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Okay, let's move along. And um, what are we going to do? Yes, let's do this week's Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And that was the show is yours gallery for this week. Uh, don't forget you can send me your pictures to vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Uh, get them to me by midday on the Tuesday. The show goes out and the picture will be in the show is yours gallery and you could get pulled out to win a 30ml bottle of juice courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK and this week's winner is clicking on the right button it is Nick Voles and Nick sent in his picture there with his devices um, and a security measure against the European Union <laughs> Uh, it looks like a uh, little samurai sword behind there. So uh, well done, Nick. I will be in contact via email after the show and you will be finding out how you get your juice. And uh, back to me again. Uh, and if you want to send a video um, of, uh, of you vaping or in you know, a strange place or if you've got a video or some pictures of a snowman vaping given that we've got tons of it all over the place um, you know what to do there it is vapor scene at vaportrails.tv now then what's coming up this week tomorrow night on VT Talk um, Dave Dorn's looking at my Skype chat here he's got some VT of the Rugby MP talking about e-cigs in Parliament this week uh, plus of course all the updates on everything that's happening in the EU and other bits and pieces of course chat and everything else Thursday it's the Haze Hour with Dave and Keith and uh, possibly Daz I'm not quite sure Saturday it's Andy with Sutton on Saturday Dave K is here with Dave's Tackle Box on Sunday Monday um, as Gary said on his show yesterday uh, he's going to be away but he is doing something to go out on Monday uh, and I am of course here next Tuesday I'm actually on holiday next week which is going to be fun <laughs> so I shall uh, I shall be here uh, getting a show together over the weekend so until I see you next or until you see me next have a good week and I'll see you then tatty bye Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, youth purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>